W6. Today, our show, we have news for you from St. Rose School in the Perrysburg, Ohio area. We're sure you'll find every story interesting, and to start things off, here's Sherry to tell us about the historical site of Perrysburg. Thanks, Bill. Like most of the Northwest Ohio area, Perrysburg is the home of a very in important historical site. It's Fort Meigs, built by General William Henry Harrison in the spring of 1813. Fort Meigs helped in the defense against the British and Indian attack during the War of 1812. Features built by the soldiers to aid in the defense of the fort were the two-story black houses and the high mounds of earth called bunkers. To help celebrate the bicentennial, Fort Meigs was recently reconstructed to be just as it was over 150 years ago. Everyone at St. Rose School is proud to have a historical site like Fort Meigs so near. We hope you have a chance to visit it someday. Last August, Perrysburg and St. Rose School were happy to welcome the residents of the Nguyen family from Vietnam. Ha is 12 years old and attends the sixth grade at St. Rose School. Many of the children are helping Ha to learn their names and the names of different things around the school by playing games. We are also teaching Ha English. The teachers use a special book that has a cassette tape with it. This way, Ha reads the book and listens to the tape at the same time. The stories in the book are all about the letters of the alphabet. Some other members of Ha's family are Ting, who is 26 years old, Hung, 21 years old, Hai, 18 years old, and Vaughn, just two years old. Now let's go to Dave with news about the solar system and volleyball. The planets of the solar system have paid a visit to the sixth grade of St. Rose School. No, we didn't make it take a trip in a spaceship, we build our own solar system out of paper mache. The classes were divided into different groups to build each planet. First, the groups blew up balloons to the correct size, then covered them with the paper mache. After the paper mache dried, the balloons were removed from inside the paper mache. Then the planets were painted. The members of the groups who didn't help with the paper mache or the painting did research on the planets and found out facts so the rest of the students would know more about the planets. The planets are now hanging from the lights in the classroom, and the information is on the backboard in the room. This year, the girls in the fifth and sixth grade at St. Rose School were mixed to form a girls' volleyball team. After a lot of practice, the team played their schedule of games. When the season was over, the team had placed fourth. Not bad for their first year of competition. The new six cameras were present when the teams were having an informal practice. And here's a brief look at the team. The 5th and 6th graders at St. Rose School will be taking field trips to the Toledo Art Museum nine times during the school year. Last month, we went to the special Louis XV art exhibit. The students saw many beautiful French paintings from the, from the French Academy, painted during the, the years 1707 to 1784. The exhibit also contained French sculpture. Everyone had a great time and learned a lot during the visit to the museum, and we're all looking forward to our next visit. Maybe you'll go get to, to visit the Toledo Art Museum, too. We hope that you will get a chance. Would you, what would you think if your teacher was a machine? At St. Rose School in Perrysburg, machines are helping students in areas in which the children are weak, subjects like spelling, arithmetic, and even French. This new way of teaching is called System 80. Each machine uses a record and a set of slides for each lesson. The System 80 will ask the student a question, and the student will push a button to answer. If the student pushes the wrong button and gives an incorrect answer, the System 80 will ask the question again and again until the, the student gives the right answer. When the correct answer is given, the machine moves on to the next question. We at St. Rose School are very happy to have this new System 80 to help us learn, but we're sure we'll never replace a teacher. At least we hope not. Now back to Bill. 
St. Rose School provides a program for parents that we think is very good. The program is called Parent Visitation and enables the parents to visit our classrooms on certain days. The parents may watch how and what the students are being taught and may follow along in the textbooks. We think that every school should have a program like this. Parents would be closer to the students by knowing more of what they are doing at school. The students at St. Rose School hope more schools will start a parent visitation program too. I'm Bill, and for Sherry, Dave, Debbie, and everyone in the sixth grade at St. Rose School in Perrysburg, Ohio, we all say thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm-hmm.